Welcome to the 2020 Acomsa Middle School National Junior Honor Society Induction Ceremony. For the health and safety of our inductees and their families, this ceremony has been pre-recorded. And like all of you, I'm disappointed that we're not able to celebrate together. All of you have worked very hard to earn this special recognition. Each of our students are well-rounded. They've demonstrated commitment to their academics and our school community. Congratulations to our inductees. The values embedded in the Acomsa Middle School mission statement closely parallel the pillars of the National Junior Honor Society. The Acomsa Middle School mission statement is our community's agreed upon direction for growth. This document guides our actions and narrows the focus of all stakeholders. Our mission statement highlights our goals and core values, and this is how it reads. Acomsa Middle School actively promotes achievement, manners, and spirit by providing a safe and supportive learning environment which nurtures each student's academic, social, emotional, and physical development while challenging them to reach their full potential. Achievement will reach our academic goals. Manners will model polite behavior. Spirit will demonstrate commitment to our school. At Acomsa Middle School, the faculty, staff, and parents collaborate to provide a learning community which meets the needs of our young adolescents. Moving forward, each of our inductees will not just represent our school, but they will represent the National Junior Honor Society. They've been invited to join this organization because of their commitment to our shared values. While our inductees may be motivated by earning good grades, I hope that's only part of what motivates our students. I hope our inductees find motivation in helping others in class, mastering the content, developing soft skills, and having fun learning. Many of our inductees have met with a high degree of academic success, in part because of the support of their parents and guardians. You each understand that an education will open doors in the future. I'm sure you've communicated these values to your children at a young age, and I'm sure you've helped them with their studies over the year. I'm sure you've stressed the importance of being a good person along with being a good student. Inductees, as you continue in your educational careers, I want you to learn for the sake of learning. I want you to find motivation and opportunities for autonomy, collaboration, competition, and opportunities to be successful and do important work. During your remaining time in middle school, high school, and beyond, make intrinsic motivation your goal and find your internal drive. In school and in life, you will not always earn that perfect grade or get the pat on the back. In school and in life, value feedback from those that care about you most. In school and in life, learn by doing, exploring, and interacting with others. Your membership in this organization marks a starting point for great things to come. You all have the recipe for success. Continue to stay busy and stay involved in our school. Congratulations. Now Ms. Falakara will introduce the officers of the National Junior Honor Society. Good evening, inductees, family, and friends from near and far. I'm Mrs. Falakara and I am the advisor of the Accompsent Middle School National Junior Honor Society. Although this is not our typical National Junior Honor Society induction, I'm proud to be able to honor all of these wonderful students for their hard work, character, service, and leadership within our school and our community. All of the 2020 inductees have exemplified these pillars of the National Junior Honor Society. These students are role models in our Comset Middle School community, and I know will continue to exemplify the four pillars, both in and out of school. You will, following the induction, you will have the opportunity to join our virtual National Junior Honor Society. You will join with current members to be able to continue to make a difference in our school and our community. I want to personally thank you for your academic perseverance, service to our school and community, your leadership qualities, and showing your character when people are watching, and most importantly, when they are not. You should be very proud of your accomplishments. I also want to thank your parents for supporting you while you reach your goals. Congratulations on being the newest members of the National Junior Honor Society. And now I would like to introduce this year's officers, Daniel, Thomas, 
Peter and Benjamin. They have a few words they would like to share with you. Hello, I am Daniel Davidson, the president of the National Junior Honor Society. It is my privilege to be here with the next generation of honor students, and I trust that you all will uphold the legacy of the National Junior Honor Society in shaping the community with righteous ideals. With that said, one of the most critical pillars of the society you all will be tasked with upholding is service. Service is devoting your time and energy in order to make steps towards bettering the entire community, not just yourself. Service is reaching out and helping the unfortunate. Service is pushing yourself to make the lives of others better in every way possible, enriching the community. Service is helping create a better future, one step at a time. Service has always been something that has mattered tremendously for me. This is bound up in the altruistic nature of service itself. To serve, you must truly care about ensuring that a problem is fixed. To serve, you must fully invest yourself in enhancing our school, our town, and the world as a whole. You must feel a powerful urge to make people's lives better whenever you can. And you have to be able to accept other people's stories and sufferings as an important part of your life. All acts of service, big or small, are important. Over the coming year, I encourage you to do things like aiding those who do not have a reliable access to meals by helping stock the food pantry. Helping beautify our town and protect wildlife by picking up litter and assorted garbage. Or whatever else is important to you and to society at large. There are countless other ways to help, and each puts good into the world that otherwise would not be there. And this is why service deserves its perch among the four pillars of the NJHS. Each and every hour spent completing service is a single step closer to a better world. You now must be sure to look for service opportunities in your normal life and act when possible. It is the duty of the National Junior Honor Society to enhance the lives of those around us through service, and it is a duty that every one of you has shown you are capable of taking on. It's now your turn to continue in that proud tradition of building a better world. One hour at a time. Hello, I'm Tommy Morelli. I'm the Vice President of the National Junior Honor Society. Defined by the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, Character is one of the attributes or features that make up a distinguished individual. Though this is accurate, it does not fully explain how much character really means. The meaning of character is much more in-depth than a one-line definition from the dictionary, especially in the National Junior Honor Society's terms. Character is doing the right thing when nobody's looking. It is living by the golden rule. It is upholding a moral standard. The National Junior Honor Society's core pillars of achievement in the club are service, leadership, scholarship, and character. It seems that character is a separate principle, but it is one and the same. Character infiltrates the other three because those who serve and lead in a positive way demonstrate to others how to do the right thing and how to benefit the school community. All of you here today have proven that you have the qualities to be a part of and to participate in the National Junior Honor Society. You will continue to develop your character by becoming leaders and helpers in and out of AMS. Though this is just the beginning of your time in National Junior Honor Society, your character and other principles of the club will help define the student community at AMS. Congratulations on your induction. Scholarship. It's why you're here tonight. It's why you decide to study hard and prepare for tests. Most people think that's all scholarship is about, but it isn't. Scholarship is not just a physical thing, but a state of mind. You cannot simply just go through the motions and expect to exceed. Sure, you may succeed, but never exceed. This is why you're here tonight. You have not succeeded, but exceeded all expectations and have realized the true meaning of scholarship. Scholarship is the way to exceed in today's world, and you are taking the first steps in this long process. Now more than ever, is it is virtually required to have a college degree and a good one at that. Colleges are also harder to get into. Not only do they require more money, but time, dedication, determination, and leadership is now required to get a good job. The NJHS looks for these qualities too, 
and you have shown them in your grades and service to others. You have the qualities needed to be a member of the NJHS and are one in everything but name. But by this induction ceremony, you are now a fully fledged NJHS member. By this, you will learn the kinship and true meaning of the NJHS. You will also learn that a scholar helps others on the same path through fundraising, drives, and charity. This is the true meaning of the NJHS and scholarship. It isn't about yourself, but how you affect others around you. If your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, you are a leader. John Quincy Adams. The leaders in our world today inspire others to become even greater leaders. The most remarkable leaders go out of their own way to help others shine their brightest. Like Mahatma Gandhi once said, be the change you wish to see in the world. Be a great leader so others can be outstanding ones. Pushing people to where they have never gone before and inspiring others to be their best is key. Be the leader that helps and inspires the shy kid in class to have a voice and believe in himself. Be the one that draws the light out of someone else and shows them and proves to them that they can do it no matter the task. The best leaders believe in others when they don't believe in themselves. Don't be afraid to shine your bright light no matter the stage because that light will only help others shine even brighter. Good, better, best. Never let it rest. So your good is better and your better is best. Tim Duncan. Never be satisfied with your good. Push yourself harder and harder and get better and better until you are the best. Having that burn inside oneself to be the best and putting that desire in others makes a great leader. Be confident to speak up, have people's backs when they need it, and lead by example no matter the circumstances. Stand for what is right and pave the way for others to follow. So when more people follow, the others that follow you aren't afraid to be great leaders. When you're a part of the National Junior Honor Society, your peers push you, and they will want what is best for you. The National Junior Honor Society is a remarkable team, so lead through undesirable times. And be your best in good interest for the team. Strive for success and never fear failure. When you fail, use it to fuel your success. Without further ado, congratulations, new, new inductees. The future of the NGHS is in your hands, so what will you do with it? I believe in you all. Be great leaders for your peers and never forget to shine. Ms. Farrell Caro will now induct our new members. You will now confirm your membership into the National Junior Honor Society here at Acomset Middle School by reciting the National Junior Honor Society pledge. Please repeat after me. I pledge myself to uphold the high purposes of this society to which I have been elected, striving in every way by word and deed, the ideals of my school and of my life. Congratulations to everyone. I will now, with greatest honor, induct the newest members into our Comset Middle School National Junior Honor Society. Alessia Altisi, Sophia Ambrosio, Nathan Burbao, Samantha Becker, Alejandro Bauer Bonvino, Kate Braun, Jessica Brooks, Liam Byrne, Alan Calderon, Caitlin Callahan, Yi G. Choi, Sean Conke, Olivia Corey, Ryan Crowley, Corinne Pusati. McKenna DeCarolis, Madison DeMeo, Anna DeCow, C. 
Sydney Dichter Jack DiMaggio Holly Doyle Sabrina Filipkowski David Finkelstein Matthew Gaskin Gavin German Kirsten Gillespie John Guedes Catherine Gonzalez Peter Graham Nicole Gulasan Olivia Hajek Samantha Harbin Kathleen Hugh Patrick Highland Ryan Jorgensen Kristen Kane Jackson Carmel Madison Kelly Eli Kolhoff Christopher Kovacs Catalina Kreitzman Marielle Croquetta Emma Cousy Michael Larkin Tyler Leibold Hao Lin Victoria Lucena Nita Lisha Erin McDade Ava McDermott Patrick McDonald Allison McNiff Nicholas Miselli Dominic Mugavero Robert Montusi Austin Mew Charlotte Muratori Sierra Needham Addison Noble Joseph Nortillo Caroline Nuzo Tara O'Reilly Tiernan O'Rook Liliana Arkishorn Isabella Onesto Vishnu Pamanaban Kayla Pardini Kristen Paredes Brendan Pufer Zachary Poder Drew Poulos Emma Redden Jack Redmond Brooke Ruder Aiden Rios Jeremy Rivera Marissa Rivera Aaliyah Romanelli 
Madeline Sacco, Ved Shaw, Raymond Sherwood, Ryan Shin, Matthew Silva, George Solaros, Dylan Smith, Angelina Sormani, Victoria Starkey, Emma Tamborello, Alana Thomas, Ava Thomas, Thomas Torrey, Patrick Tybor, Mohammed Vakil, Sahir Vakil, Sydney Vogel, Anira Vandukod, Tyler Walters, Justin Weiner, David Wetzel, Karina Wong, Anthony Zitoli. Hello, as assistant principal at Compton Middle School, I'd like to thank you once again for welcoming us into your home so that we may recognize the newest members of our National Junior Honor Society. As this ceremony comes to a conclusion, I hope you not think of this as the end of an event, but rather as the beginning of a journey. Today, these young people have taken the first step in developing their leadership skills. Words such as dedicated, charitable, courageous, and diligent have often been used to describe members of the National Junior Honor Society. These traits will be nurtured and developed during their times at a constant middle school, high school west, and afterwards as they grow to be members of society. Michelle Obama once said, you should never view your challenges as a disadvantage. Instead, it is important for you to understand that your experience facing and overcoming adversity is actually one of your biggest advantages. Our National Junior Honor Society embraces this mindset. I've heard some of the beautiful things our students have been doing while we are on pause. Some students have been making PPE for essential workers, and others have been decorating our community with words that inspire and create hope. This is nothing new for our National Junior Honor Society. During my years at AMS, I've seen these young people do tremendous things. To name just a few, students have created birthday boxes for homeless children raise money for local organizations that help veterans. They've invited veterans into our school so that they may listen to their stories and express gratitude for their service. They've worked with the FCCLA selling homemade breakfast items in efforts to raise money for local food pantries. They've attended school functions such as our open house where they provide directions for lost parents trying to find room 211A. The list of leadership opportunities with the National Junior Honor Society can go on and on. And I, for one, cannot wait to see what new initiatives will come out of our newest members. At this point, we will conclude our 2020 National Junior Honor Society induction. Upon our return to a concert, we will plan something furthermore to commemorate this achievement. Good night and be well.